Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. So today I've got a brand new piece of equipment for the tractors. I've got a ballast box that I ordered showed up in the mail. So uh, a ballast box is an easy way to be able to add weight to the back of your tractor. So I can put it on the, the tractor and it's gonna help out with loader work. Um, so I can hitch it, I can put it on the back of the TYM tractor, I can put it on the back of the Alice Chalmers tractor and it'll give me rear weight while using the front front end loader. So when you when you do lift up heavy heavy loads with the front end loader, the back end likes to get light on you and that ends up putting all the weight on your front axles. You really need some balance. You know, you really need some rear weight on there and you can hitch you can hitch implements up to the back of the tractor to give you that rear weight. And the biggest thing I have is the 7 foot brush hog. So I could put the brush hog on the back and that would give it a lot of weight, but that brush hog sticks out about 10 feet out the back. So when you're doing a lot of loader work and you're spinning around, you really don't want something sticking out that far. You're liable to swing around and hit something with it. Um, so a lot of people end up using a box blade. A box blade is heavy, it's compact, sits tight to the back of the tractor. And uh, a lot of people, that's what most, I'd say a lot of people, that's what they use for some rear weight. Uh, that's what my dad uses. I think he's got a five foot box blade that he puts on the back of his tractor. Uh, but I don't have a box blade to put on here. So I decided to go the cheapest route there was, and that is a ballast box. So for less than 400 bucks, I think, um, I got the ballast box bought and shipped here to the house. And basically all you gotta do, it's a, it's as simple as it gets really. I mean, it's just a metal box and you fill it full of like rocks, dirt, sand, concrete, and you got a heavy weight to put on the back of the tractor. Now, like I said, it's about as simple as it gets. So it's not real functional, just a, 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 a box that weighs a lot. So I wanna try to do a few improvements to it, try to make it a little bit more functional. And uh, then we'll finally, we'll fill it full of weight. We'll hitch it up to the back of the tractor. And then I, Behind the barn here, I've got those really big laminated beams that I wanted to use for the bridge across the inlet of the pond over here, and they were about three or four feet short from reaching. But they're big laminated beams. They were basically, they were for dairy barn, dairy barn posts is what they were. I, and um, we're gonna get those out of the way so that we can do some regrading and backfill on this side of the barn. So once we get the ballast box on, we'll see if we can move those beams to a new place. So let's go ahead, we'll head inside and we'll start modifying this ballast box, try to make it a little better.
So I got the ballast box all set up now and uh, I just did a simple modification of adding an ammo can on each side of the ballast box so that I can have some more storage. Um, this is a pretty cheap solution. I, uh, I picked both of these up. I think they're 12 bucks a piece and we just bolted them on here. Um, so the way I'm using these is I'm using them to store uh, my chains and my rigging and straps, anything I might need to be able to rig something up, pick it up with the tractor and carry it around. I've got in these ammo cans. So anytime I go to pick up something heavy, I'll pick up the ballast box, put it on the back of the tractor, and then I'll have all my rigging with me um, in case I need it. So I think that'll work out pretty good. So this is a, uh, so this is a, I got this from Titan Attachments. I paid for it myself. Um, and uh, it was just under $400 um, free shipping. And this is a category one ballast box. And I'm not sure how much it weighs now with this pea gravel in here. A little over five cubic feet in here you can fill up. And if you put concrete in here, the concrete to, to fill this up weighs 800 pounds. And then the box itself weighs 132 pounds. So if you fill this with concrete, you'll end up with about a 930 pound weight on the back of your tractor. So the way this is designed, it does have a couple tubes in here so that you can store tools. And there is a, a hole drilled in the bottom of each one of those, so they drain. They're not gonna fill up with water. And then they did add a, a receiver hitch here on the back. So I could always uh, throw a hitch back here and hitch up a trailer and pull it behind the tractor as well if I needed to. And then they added a door. I'm not gonna open it. <laughs> All the gravel will come out. But there's a door here so that you can dump whatever rocks are on the inside. So I think the pea gravel is gonna work out good because it's just a simple weight to be in there. And um, if I ever do wanna put concrete in here, I can open that door out and I can clean that pea gravel out fairly easy. But uh, yeah, I think it's all set up and ready to use. So uh, we're gonna head back behind the new pole barn and there's those big laminated beams back there. I think they're like 22 to 23 feet somewhere long and they are 12 inches wide by 24 inches tall. They're big laminated beams. So I'm not sure if I could pick up both of them or not. We may have to do one at a time. We'll just have to see. But we're gonna go back there now that we've got some weight on the back of the tractor, get those beams out of the way so that we can do some dirt work back there later. So let's go test this out. I'm gonna set it back down. I'm gonna try to get another pick on it so I can get it more to the middle. It's definitely heavy on this side. And then hopefully I can drive this thing out of here. That thing is heavy.
So I got the laminated beams moved and I got them stacked over here along the fence line over here where hopefully they're out of the way now. And if for some reason I have to move them again, it'll be a lot easier picking them up in this location. So um, those beams are big. I couldn't really remember exactly how big they were. So I ended up putting a measuring tape on them. They're 23 and a half feet long. That is huge. And uh, I think they ended up being 12 inches wide, 22 inches deep. That is a big beam. And the tractor, I first pulled up to it and, and finally got underneath it, and the tractor was able to pick up both of them without any problem. But then you could tell that was a ton of weight. You're, you're almost kind of teetering. You know, you could tell there was a ton of weight hanging 12 feet out on each side. And um, so I decided I'd just carry one at a time. And uh, I tried to pick up one, and when I did, I ended up knocking that other one over. And afterwards I looked at it and I'm like, well, you know, I think I like them laying flat better. So when I brought this one over here, I knocked it over and then I was able to stack the other one on top. And I think that's just a lot more stable that way than both of them standing up on end. So got the, there was a big, this is a big PVC pipe that we had bought for the bridge project also. This was to pour concrete piers in the pond. May still end up using this for a pond dock to be able to pour piers out in the water. And uh, we got this moved over here as well. So I, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do with these big beams. Um, I know a lot of you guys have already given me plenty of ideas on what I can use them for. But uh, hopefully one day I'll figure something out to use these for. They're almost too big, to be honest with you. I could probably cut those in half and have four big beams and it would probably be a little more practical for, for something. But uh, anyway, they're out of the way, so now we can finally go over here and start doing some dirt work on the other side of the barn. So I think uh, the ballast box definitely helped today carrying those big beams. Um, I could tell once I put this on here, I could tell that I had some weight on the back of the tractor. So uh, in previous videos, I know people have made comments. You could notice when I would pick up a big load on the front of the tractor and I would go from reverse to forward, you could see my back tires would, would want to spin out. You could tell that the back end of the tractor would get light when I was lifting a load. So you, so you, you knew I needed some weight back here. And, um, and the ballast box, to me, it just kind of made sense. I already had this huge pile of gravel sitting over here that was left over from concrete in the barn. And I'm not even sure what we're gonna do with all that gravel, to be honest with you, but this was a good use for it. I thought, well, I can buy a ballast box. They're not too expensive. I can fill it up with gravel and have a nice weight on the back of the tractor. And this is about the most compact thing that you could put back there. It's not really gonna get in the way or anything. So I think it's gonna work out. I don't, I don't, think, uh, I don't think it's a bad purchase being able to you know, buy this ballast box. So, uh, so I think for now, I'm not gonna leave my tools in here, obviously. I'm gonna take those and put the shovel and the ax away. But uh, that was just more for a demonstration purpose right there to show you that there's a couple tool holders in there. But uh, I think for now, the sun is setting on the horizon and I think I'm gonna call it a day. Oh yeah, one more thing. So uh, it is hay season right now and most of the people around here have actually cut their hay last week or the week before and I never got the opportunity to. So I'm behind as usual. Uh, so this weekend it was, it was cold. It actually got down to like 40 and it was rainy and it just wasn't a good weekend for to cut hay. So hopefully in another week, it's gonna get hot and it'll get dry and we can finally go out there and cut the hay field. So there'll be uh, hopefully some hay videos coming up here pretty soon. But, uh, but that's it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.